Welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss. And it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I have a massive haul for you. I went to Costco, did my stock up. I go to Costco typically once a month. I think it's actually been a couple months since I've been there, as well as a haul from Walmart. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and five videos every week. Down in the description box, I will link nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and my free Facebook group, we would love to have you come on over and join us, are all down in that description box. So let's head into the kitchen for this week's grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul from Costco. So this is my monthly Costco trip. What you don't see is a case of water and a case of Gatorade Zero. I grabbed two bags of the Blue Buffalo Chicken and Apple Recipe Sausage Bites. These are soft dog treats. The lady that checked my receipt said that her dog loves these. These are currently on coupon for $14, which is a really good deal, so I went ahead and picked up two. And then this three pack of candles is $12.99. So there's Waterfall Petals, Rain Shower, and Island Vibes. They smell really good, and the glass component is really pretty. It's kind of like an octagon milk Milky glass and you can't beat it three candles for $12.99 of course I picked up some more of my real good chicken strips I always buy these every time I go to Costco it's my all-time favorite 21 grams of protein only 120 calories they're gluten-free and grain-free and there's no antibiotics and they're so good I love them in the air fryer love them as wraps I love to dip them in ranch put them on salad so I did a restock and then I also grabbed one more pack of grass-fed butter this is my very favorite butter this is the Kirkland brand of the Kerrygold it's exactly the same thing and this one is a lot less expensive it's only $9.99 I did get some more of my Sonicare toothbrush heads these are so expensive they're on sale right now for $50 which is ridiculous normally they're like 65 so I grabbed them while they were on sale I also picked up Troy's favorite pasta salad. This is only around in the summer. So whenever I do go to Costco when it's there, I always pick it up for him. It's like a tortellini, salami, mozzarella. I don't really like it, but he loves it. And then I also got him another two pack of his favorite four bean salad. I grabbed some peanut butter powder. It now comes in a bag, which I like a lot better than the plastic tub. I've been making this yogurt mixed with peanut butter powder, and then you put melted chocolate chips on top and let it harden like magic shell. It's so such a good dessert packed with protein and this is just a great way to get peanut butter taste for little calories it's only 60 calories for two tablespoons and you're gonna get seven grams of protein so I love it and again I'm really glad that it comes in a bag now I did get a watermelon because we have been loving watermelon this summer paper towels because that is something I always pick up when I go to Costco and then I also grabbed another bag of the country archer little mini beef sticks Troy eats these I eat these they're 45 calories four grams of protein it's just a really good price at Costco and they are really good quality zero sugar in those I also got another big two pack of peanut butter for Troy we're down to about a half a jar of our peanut butter and then I also picked him up some more pepperoni because we are out and you get two huge bags for $9.99 so we like to use these on sandwiches salad homemade pizza I did grab myself another pack of the Columbus turkey bacon this is the best turkey bacon I absolutely love it it's uncured no nitrites no nitrates hickory smoked and it's like 45 calories a slice with six grams of protein. It's amazing and really good quality. And the price, it was I think $10.99 on sale, which is an incredible deal. I picked up another two pack of my favorite avocado oil spray, $12.97. You can't beat it. These are the big containers. And this was exciting to see. So I actually tried these a while ago from Nutrition in my little Nutrition snack haul. And now they're at Costco. These are the protein pretzels. They have the everything pretzels. There's 15 grams of protein, only 110 calories. I think they taste just like regular pretzels. I don't taste any weird protein or anything, and I couldn't pass them up. I was so excited to see those. I also grabbed Troy's favorite bread. He loves this bread. It's his all-time favorite, and it's the best price at Costco. We just throw the extra loaf in the freezer. Blackberries right now are $2.50 for the big container, so I grabbed one container. And then Listerine, which is my favorite mouthwash, is on sale for $9.99 for a two-pack. 
that's unheard of. So I did grab two two packs so that we have a backup of our mouthwash. I've been putting this in my water pick, which is my water flosser, and it feels like you go to the dentist. So we go through mouthwash pretty quickly, and that, like I said, is a really good deal. And then lastly, I grabbed the pre-hard boiled eggs. I actually ate a two pack of these on my way home. It's such a great high protein snack, and it's already pre-boiled, packaged up, peeled in a little two pack. So this is what they look like. It's just really convenient, easy way to get in some hard boiled eggs in less than $11. That is everything from Costco. Let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the grocery haul. So here is the rest of my grocery haul for the week from Walmart. So let me show you what I picked up. Oh, what you don't see is a 24 pack of Diet Coke. It is in the garage. So I grabbed some low splash bleach. We are completely out of bleach, so I had to do a restock. Two gallons of 1% milk for Troy for the week. I also needed some chicken broth for a recipe, so this is just the reduced sodium chicken broth. I also needed a can of diced tomatoes. I like to buy my tom tomatoes organic, and Walmart's brand is really, really affordable. I also got four little cottage cheese cups. I don't know, they sounded really good. I saw them in the app and thought, I saw them and thought, that'll be a nice little snack. So I picked up one of the strawberry, one blueberry, one pineapple, and one peach. I've never had the peach. I'm so excited for that. These are about 140 to 160 calories, and they have 12 to 15 grams of protein. So if you want cottage cheese, like a sweeter version with fruit already in it, that's a good way to go. And then I did grab some more ranch dip. We really like this brand, the Lighthouse Homestyle Ranch. Last week I shared the Panera Ranch. It's also really good. So either one of these is delicious for veggies. I asked for some little bags of chips. So I got this variety pack that has Classic Lay's, Cool Ranch, regular Doritos, regular Ruffles, Fritos, and Cheetos. I also needed some more rolled oats for my meal prep. I've been going through oats a lot. I've been using them quite a bit. They're just such a great source of whole grains and fiber. So I grabbed those and since I did Walmart, I got my favorite sausages, the chicken and maple from Applegate Naturals. Love these. I've been doing turkey bacon and I'm ready to change it up. So I did a restock of my favorite sausage. I also got a couple of packs of extra of thick fully cooked bacon for a recipe. It just makes it easier than having to make bacon. And then we want to have a spaghetti night. So I picked up some Barilla Protein Plus Spaghetti Pasta. Peanuts because I've been making that yogurt bowl that I shared in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day that you could do a Snickers dupe. I did a PB&J and I really like the addition of some dry roasted peanuts. Just a tablespoon on top. If you missed Wednesday's video, I'll link it down below for you. Definitely check it out. I shared some really good recipes in there. And then I needed some Dijon mustard because we were completely out. I also need some frozen strawberries for a couple of different recipes this next week, as well as some dates. I need dates for my dessert slash snack meal prep for the week. I also picked up some granola bars for Troy. He requested some granola bars. These are the strawberry and blueberry chewy yogurt bars. I also did a restock of his light butter. I typically just use regular butter. He prefers the country crock light. I also wanted some more pepper jack cheese for my omelets and sandwiches. I just like the little bit of spice, just the tiny tiny bit that this cheese gives to that. I also needed chicken drumsticks for my meal prep. Troy also asked for more Yasso bars. We've been loving these since it's so hot here. So I picked up the mint chocolate chip and a box of cookie dough. These are like 60 or 70 cents cheaper a box at Walmart than at my local fries or my Kroger store. So I did a restock and sadly they did not have them at Costco. You didn't see them in the Costco haul because Unfortunately, they didn't have them, which is a bit of a bummer, but at least I know they're a little more affordable at Walmart. I also picked up a big, huge container of Too Good Vanilla Yogurt. This is for that yogurt bowl that I shared in Wednesday's video. And then I've really been liking Cleo bars. I'm out of my big ones, and I thought that I would grab the minis this time. These are the Strawberry Mini Greek Yogurt Bars. They're only 60 calories, and they have four grams of fiber, and they're really good. It tastes like cheesecake covered in chocolate, and I really enjoyed them when I picked them up last time at Whole Foods so I grabbed another box. I also picked up a big bag of avocados because I've been eating lots and lots of avocados, some asparagus for my lunch meal prep, a couple of onions for recipes, and then some more mini cucumbers so that we can have them with the ranch dip this week. So that is the rest of my massive grocery haul for the week. Let's jump into what's for dinners and what you'll see in meal prep. So here is what is on the menu for dinners for the week. I'm making Spanish rice with ground beef. You guys will actually see that recipe 
recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. And then we are going to do spaghetti. And then I have some of the Trader Joe's frozen meals in the freezer. We're going to put together a dinner using those. And then here's what you'll be seeing in meal prep on Monday. So for breakfast, I'm doing a peanut butter and jelly overnight oat. I wanted a cold breakfast recipe. For lunch, I'm actually doing chicken legs in the air fryer with veggies. And then I'm making deviled egg pasta salad. So I'm really excited for that. And then I am making date squares for dessert. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing my massive haul from Costco and Walmart. Lots of new food finds, some really good deals. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future grocery haul or a future video. Again, I do upload videos five days per week. Down in the description box, you'll find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come join that free foot our free Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday. Have an amazing weekend and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.